Goat vaccination spot. What? Uh, I think <laughs> they're trying to get political. Yeah. Look at this shit. What is going on? Why even? That says vacation, dumbass. Let it go. Let it go. But what song are you listening to? Um, Motion Sickness by Phoebe Bridgers. Oh, thank you. Hey. Hey, what song are you listening to? Oh, uh, uh Goldfinger, the, the James Bond soundtrack. Oh, thanks. Uh, what song are you listening to? Uh, what song are you, are you listening to? Oh, uh, like, uh, Drake. Oh, no, what song? What song? Drake. Yeah, say that you a lesbian, girl. Yeah, Drake. Yeah, girl. Yeah, Drake. Yeah, Drake. Yeah, Drake. Yeah, say that you a lesbian, girl. This video is brought to you in part by Young, Young Adults Against Drake. Drake. Goldfinger. Long ago. Three friends join together. They became the App Theory. The App Theory Podcast. Starring Peter. Make this dumbass video real quick. Hold up, son. I've just been time away from you to do this thing real quick. Scott. We're gonna do it live. You like black pink over here at the Amp Theory. You like black pink. How many times were you intimate with my mom? And J Mac. It's Just like weird. my mom says, dynamite comes in small packages. That's why it's kept me going all these years. It's okay. I'll never let them see me cry. <laughs> I'm crying. Now here's your hosts, Peter and Scott. Hola, bienvenidos al Amp Theory Podcast número 32. Does that mean 32? Sí. Oh, man. Guess what episode it is? Uh, no sé. It's going to be a killer episode this week. Oh. Because number 32 is going to be dedicated to O.J. Simpson. Wait, maybe not dedicated. Uh, oh, shit. Our, our player of the este week. episodio está dedicado a O.J. Simpson, un héroe. A todas las personas, no. Oh, sorry. He basically said the juice is loose. <laughs> no, I said uh, a hero to the people, and I was like, no, maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Also, if you're just joining us, sorry, I didn't mean to touch your hand there. It's, we gotta get used to this. As you can see, we obviously have a new setup this week. Yeah, uh, muy intimate. So we can we can all fist bump each other and yeah, look like the shield. Oh, fuck, Wonder Twin powers. Wow, Wonder Triple all powers. Our, Wonder triplets. <laughs> all, all our powers combined together. Yeah. Be, but so we're kind of in, a, in a, a testing phase of seeing how this this camera angle goes to so see if yeah let us know after this week but. let us know if you like it i mean you see a little bit more of our bodies which we kind of wanted to avoid because then we d we want to be objectified yeah you know only follow because of our bodies and our looks well <laughs> it's kind of a little too late for that because if you turn it into the podcast you probably have already seen Oh no! The, the Lisa Money Dance Challenge and uh, oh, all three, I got all three of us on tape twerking. So. Oh, oh, I'm so, oh, so I think, I think, oh, oh. Oh shit! We didn't. One second, one second. It's good. No, we can. It's still going. Still it's going. Still going. Still Technical going. difficulties. Oh still here. I just, shit! I failed by not plugging the phone up. Hey, oh so hey, good. but it's cool though, bro, because you can like input like clips of our dance video in there. No, it was still recorded. So, oh, yeah. it, it didn't stop recording. Yeah. Oh, is it okay? Hey. Uh, I'm just dumb. Um, yeah, no, it, it didn't stop the recording. Hey, I'm not gonna oh, lie. Oh, this God. this is the most sweaty I've ever been walking Man, into a podcast episode. I got the AC at 65. I'm sweating like R. Kelly at a Girl Scout meeting. <laughs> no, I was gonna. gonna say, fucking Sandusky at a Boy Scout meeting. Oh. Jason's gonna have a glove shop. Oh. You know, but still, uh, <laughs> goddamn. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hey, video if you're watching this, it's so. glove don't fit. You're full of shit. Yeah. No, or is it you must have quit? Yeah. I don't yeah, remember. Don't fit, you must have quit. Oh. oh okay. I, thought, I thought it was a you must have quit. Yeah, you, you must have quit. No, no, I thought you must quit. No, it's a quit. Um, oh, okay. I'm, somebody is, I'm a different culture. I hear it differently. Yeah. Um, okay. You know what? Top, thought, five, top five car chase of all time. The, the white Bronco chase. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Everybody watched that shit. Even as a child, I watched that. Yeah. When the My parents were when the Bronco came back, I was hoping that OJ would endorse. You know, I don't know if they want him to endorse. You no, know, as a little Hispanic kid, like I think my perspective is a little bit different. Race wars are, tend to be a little bit more black and white, so I, I've, I've never been really. 
a big part of the highlights, you know, if certain things happen. Part of the race war either, you know? When you when y'all say I race wars, I just think about Fast and Furious oh, yeah. one. <laughs> well, that's what I was Toretto! talking about. Go get my car. <laughs> That's exactly what I was talking about. Just I don't know. my family. <laughs> SWAT came in my home. That's a good one. I never knocked on no one. You know, Wendy hadn't seen, hasn't only really seen like, the first Fast and Furious since. I don't know, she saw Tokyo and Furious and then she stopped her to the light. You haven't seen any of the ones with like the rock? <laughs> and, Makes me sad. Never seen, yeah. You've never seen two Fast and Furious. You've seen Tokyo Drift though. Yeah. I'm like, it's the best one. What? Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like the first one. While not realistic, was the most realistic out of all of them. Oh yeah, it's and then the it just got real. more ridiculous the went the more you went. See, I haven't even seen the last one, but I know they go to space. And what's <laughs> funny is, for years that was the joke, like, oh, are they eventually going to go to space? And they did. They jumped yes, the shark like, the finally. Yeah, that's crazy. You know what? The first one was pretty realistic. Yeah. But the second one was also realistic, right? Yeah. Brian had to like become the new Dom. That was the only thing that was a little different. Yeah. Which I wasn't a big two fan of, but you know. You can't replace Vin Diesel. I mean, I said forget about it, cuz. Oh God. Uh, but yeah, um, I did want to. I felt like we were going somewhere with the whole OJ and the Bronco. No, before that, the Lisa thing. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, look, that was one of the hardest things. First of all, okay. In realization the- number one. I didn't know I weighed as much as I did. I felt like I couldn't you, move for okay. shit. We always talk shit about how we're going to feel it like in our knees and stuff. Mm. Did you feel it in your knees? Actually, surprisingly, I haven't because I've been, I've been working on my knees. Okay. Not so working knees, uh, on my knees. Knees over toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. My what cat, a, what about you? Like bitch, right? What about you, yeah. Twerkzilla? My, my cast hurt like a bitch right yeah. now. Yeah. Really? Cigarettes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Put some work on the did cast. it scare you guys how good we were at twerking? Uh, no, we come from a different generation, yeah, bro. I'm not surprised. I mean, I've been twerking since 2004, so. Oh, shit. You mm. see, I haven't been, but then, like, it just felt like I was at home. I was just, like, popping. I was like, That's what this you got feels to... a little too natural. Uh, yeah? You know, I mean, some some people have it, some people don't. You had the best hip thrust out of all of us. Yeah, you know, I've been practicing. <laughs> you got you four some, kids? <laughs> you got some good twerking in there. Oh, the best part is my 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 approval. That was a, mine, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I wasn't, I wasn't, as <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't stop myself before I say anything wrong. Yeah, no. As this channel grows <laughs> and things are becoming a little bit more real, yeah, and like we're doing these things oh, because God. it's like now we know like people are watching and stuff, <laughs> and it's a uh, it's a little scary because I feel like this is, this is a lot of the times I forget what the fuck I say and I'm like. I have to go back and watch, like, when I edit our videos. In I'm like, fear? I'm like, my other thing is I'm in fear of, fuck, I hope I cut everything out. After I've already uploaded the video. Yeah. That's a real fear I have sometimes. I'm like, wait, did I, I hope I didn't skip anything, but yeah. I, haven't, I haven't failed once. No. Because there have been a couple of oop oops. Robert. I'm not going to say what they are. Not me. We've all had at least one oop oop where we're like, hey, <laughs> stop the presses, take that shit out. Yeah. One last week. Yeah. Yeah. It's like some of us make one mistake and then never make it again. I've only made one mistake. You've only made one mistake. Exactly. I've only made one Third. mistake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, no, it hasn't. Earlier, in our behind the scenes video we shot, so that's two, homie. <laughs> no, 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 no. Behind the scenes doesn't count. I, it's going to be a video that goes up on our channel, so yeah, it counts. Yeah, behind the scenes nah, doesn't count. <laughs> oh, I won't count that. Probably. No, I mean, things are... Oh, also, since it's the beginning of the episode, I do want to say, and I'm, I'm going to do it on the reactions, but just a big thank you to all the people that went out and... You know, boosted up my daughter's uh, TikTok page and followed and stuff. You know, it made all of this worth it. Like that moment for me was like, wow, like that. I really appreciate that, like more than you guys would know, like even more than what you've done for our own channel. How much you know? did uh, her subscribers uh, shoot up? Well, she was. She's over, a she's over a thousand. So she hit. Um, she hit when she when when she put it out. She was at one hundred and ninety eight. Okay. And then uh, she got over, I think, barely over 200, you know, because of uh, on her own. But then all of a sudden the numbers just. And she's like, she doesn't know what to do. She's like. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, man. yeah. She's tripping. She's wow. Like, she's sitting at 1,392 followers. Right? Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. How are her videos doing? That video, the Halloween special has 6,444 views. Yeah. Wow. And a and shitload of likes. Like 2,000, 1,800. Yeah, yeah. Well, That's you see. Really cool. She was always like, she's been at a hundred for a long time. She's like, man, when I hit two hundred subscribers, I'm gonna release a, 
mm-hmm. a video, you know? Yeah. And she was only expecting like a few more hundred. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she had 200, and next thing you know, she's at 300 before you know it. And she's, you know, her plan was that everything was going to go slow, so she was going to bring out a 200, a 300, a yeah. 400. Yeah. Then she went from like 200 to 800 to like, you know, to where she's like, I, I need to stop or else all these videos I'm going to be releasing are just... Oh, I hit another milestone, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah no. It's, yeah. it's, that's awesome, yes. Yeah. That's actually yes. a really cool gift that you could, like, give her. Yeah. To, yeah. like, help promote her like that. Yeah, yeah, I never, this channel is a lot bigger than anything I ever expected. And, like, I was, I was just thinking about that, like, the other day. Um, I, like, just, I think this morning or yesterday, I was thinking, it's like, man, like, I never once, when I was sitting in the car, and I told I told I told Sarah I was like, hey, I'm gonna start a podcast. I like I'm gonna put out videos, mm-hmm. and she's all like, oh yeah. I was like, yeah. Like, can you help me pick a name? And she's all like, I ain't helping you pick no name. <laughs> <laughs> but so supportive. It, yeah, yeah. But it was because she, you know, she she knows I always start a lot of things, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so you know, it was it was that way. And then I was like, oh yeah, you ain't gonna help me. I was like, shit, I'm calling Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I got in the car and I was like, hey Scott. I'm starting a podcast. Help me pick a name. And then us like throwing the things around, I was like, hey, motherfucker, why don't you just be in this podcast with me? <laughs> and like, that was like, it just was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Then we brought out the first episode, which we had technical difficulties and had no video. Yeah. Then you had mentioned, hey, Jonathan. Yeah. You know, and I know Jonathan from way back, but uh, Jonathan was like, like uh, he was saying, hey, Jonathan says he can come help. And it's like, Okay, cool. Like, like the expectations were just so low. Yeah, you know, and it's like yeah. the way that it was so put, like that it was put together, is just like really off chance. Like, not yeah. really like. And for anybody listening too, like, what's crazy is, we said that we would do a podcast, right? And then knowing you, you're like, all right, bet we're gonna get together next weekend. You better have a mic. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh shit, I got a week to get a mic. Let's fucking do this because mm-hmm. finally somebody was like. Because we had talked about doing a podcast way back, but we had yeah, like yeah. eight people who wanted to be in this shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, everybody on their own is a heavy hitter, right? But we never had like chemistry with like those other six people. Like, yeah. like yes, like we can have a conversation, yeah. but like having eight different people in a fucking room, it's like, yeah. hey, listen to me. Yeah. No, listen to me. No, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, I, listen to me. And yeah. with three of us, we already talk over each other enough, so if yeah. you had shit ton of people, we'd be fucked. But that's actually gotten a lot better. Oh yeah. Oh, we were getting weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Which you know, I think like all the struggles that we go through, like because also, I mean, let's be real, like we've been friends, mm-hmm. you know, but we've never had to do anything together, you know, yeah, like right, like maybe right. y'all y'all done some videos together, right? Mm-hmm. But like when something like that's unplanned, we just show up and we talk, you yeah. know, um, you know, to have to have like serious conversations with one another was was tough, you know, mm-hmm. and and awkward at times, but like it's only brought us closer yeah. And, yeah and 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 i think that like it's also made us feel a little bit more comfortable but like you know one thing that w- i think was important that i really didn't foresee like is that when you have like everybody has like and i know you guys have experienced this right where we tell somebody it's like oh i have a podcast you know yeah. and usually they always say I- i've thought about doing a podcast yeah. and i think that's the difference between like because everybody's <sighs> interested in doing one Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. but to, one thing is actually getting together, mm-hmm. recording it, doing it. But then, like going through the like, I, I've watched myself sometimes, and I've been like, oh, "What the fuck," you know? Like, but like sticking with it, yeah. And and to yeah. be honest, like, I know I knew I was gonna show up, and I think that's a conversation I had with you. Like, yeah, it's like I'm gonna do this with or without you. Like, yeah, you want to show up, show up, you know, and yeah, and I and. You know, since I didn't have that conversation with you, like that was like, man, I don't know, but I think out of all this, like, you know, you you've gone above and beyond. You know, like you've been the the MVP of this whole show, man. Like, yeah, bro. try to, yeah. But no. I mean, it's, it's on me because when when you first brought me on after the the first episode, I'm thinking like, oh, we can just do this super easy with a video, just shoot one video. And yeah, it was easy for a time because it was just matching the one audio of yeah. the video and i'm just in the background you don't like this <laughs> yeah uh and then of course i had to make it more difficult you know when we moved over to this studio uh, and decided hey let's get two cameras and two mics yeah and, or three mics you know yeah like that so i put it on myself but it also i feel like it's 
helped it's been better. the channel and yeah. made, made it, things better and yeah, more like, fun at least. Yeah. It, everything and it's gotten to where it's brought us to tonight where we just did a motherfucking dance video where we're twerking. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, in March I didn't fucking think we were going to be doing that shit. No, it, not <laughs> Okay, so I'm glad you brought up like the start day, right? Because we've been a channel for... Less than a year, yeah, which it's is been, which has been, been insane. Months. Yeah, Started it's been in like, March of twenty twenty one. It's been like eight months, yeah. and our expect like you know talking about expectations, our expectations were so low, right? Mm-hmm. Like we thought based off like the first episode when we got like almost three hundred views or something like that, we were like, oh shit, like we have an audience, but it was really just you know like our friends and family and <clears throat> Facebook and all that, just trying to see like what we got, because like how you said like. A lot of people have that like conversation, like, "Hey, like, I'd like to do a podcast." Yeah, but nobody, nobody. That's what I was saying. Like, I knew with you, like when you said we we're gonna do it, like we're gonna fucking do it. Yeah. It's like you were the first person to be like, "Hey, like, let's do it. Get a fucking mic because I got a mic. Yeah. We're gonna knock this shit out." Yeah, right. Yeah, and that was what was cool because finally, after all that, like, I could do it. I could have those conversations. I could be funny with people. All that. It finally, like, it finally manifested. Yeah, and it finally became whole. Yeah, when uh, Johnny came in the second episode and was yeah. doing all that shit. And I and I don't want to get like all like voodoo, like all, all people, but like some things in life do just kind of happen, mm-hmm. and then it's like it it just becomes more, you know. And I think that like I don't want to say it was meant to be that we got together. I, I, I know it's off chance, but it's been one of the best experiences that I've had because like yeah. going going back to like what you're saying, like, you know, before I'm y'all know me, you know, like yeah. I, I really didn't make the time to just hang out. Like I work mm-hmm. and I go home. I work and I go home. And this has really kind of made me made me like, hey, you should call your friends and go hang out with them, you know? And like, yeah, it forces yeah. me to come hang out with you guys. And it's like, while I'm very happy in my personal life, right? It's like, nothing replaces just that human connection. Because we were just like, bro, when was, I would have never tried to dance and have <laughs> like a genuine like laugh from just being silly, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, and like, you know, I'm silly with my wife and we have like good times and we laugh all the time, right? But like, yeah. I don't sit there and dance with her, you know, like like to do all this stuff. And it's like, it's because of this channel. I wouldn't have done it w- w- uh, without this channel, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and it's been great. And one thing that I want to tell people like that are listening, you know, is that I, I'm a very kept to myself person. Like, you know, I, I keep to myself mm. when I do things. I like to like, I like things that just require me because mm. I'm, you know, I've gone through things in my life where like my trust levels aren't the highest. Right. Like right. I've had people do shitty shit to me. Yeah. 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 And, um, you know, I've tried to do a business by myself, you know, and, and, you know, made money, you know, but then yeah. eventually like, you know, if I'm, I'm, I was only relying on myself, you know, so when that failed, it was like on me, you know, like, right. and I've done all these things that have just been me. And I think through this experience, one thing that I've learned that has helped me like in my own, like in life is that like when you have f- friends and when you give a little bit of trust and mm-hmm. you allow people to play their part and like you help be a part of something versus trying to do it all on your own, like mm-hmm. things just go further. You know, and that's one thing I really learned through this podcast. You know, (laughs) I think if I would have done it by myself, I think it would have been a lot of the same of other things that have happened in my life. Yeah. But because I was able to get together with people I like being around, you know, and people that, you know, just show up, you know, and to to take it back to like what you're talking about, like, uh, like the chemistry and things like that, um, with the, with the two of you, it's it's a little different because you've always been like that friend. Like we, we've talked about it already, like before, but Mm -hmm. You and I could text each other and say like the meanest, worst things to each other that anybody could ever say, but you and I think it's funny. Mm-hmm. And then I've been talking to you forever and bullshitting with you forever. And while I don't say terribly mean things to you like I do to Peter and vice versa, like we still have like that like that kind of conversation where we just like grill each other, like rip on each other. That's what this shit's about, right? Because mm-hmm. I know in the beginning we were trying to be all like fitness gurus and like mm-hmm. that shit was cool for a little bit. And it still is because it's still who we are, but I. But we even knew like from the jump like this can only last so long before we finally mm-hmm. 
like come through like yeah. our personality mm-hmm. actually shows through yeah. and that's what the podcast has been for me yeah. to bring to bring it really full circle yeah, yeah. we couldn't have done we couldn't have made it to 32 episodes unless we actually liked each other no <laughs> obviously yeah. but more so like and i think it's not even that we did it unintentionally but it's kind of unintentionally hilarious how it kind of worked out with how we literally have been following that our, our, our motto, the AMP motto, because mm. think about it, accountability. We hold our, each other accountable. We make sure we're here every Sunday to yeah. record this shit. Yeah. You know, the mindset that we have, hey, let's try to knock out these videos. Let's let's try something <laughs> else. Like having the mindset of like, hey, let's just go for it. Like yeah. tonight with the dancing. Yeah. We just said, fuck it. Let's, yeah. let's, let's go for yeah. it, man. To be like, honest. Have it in the right mindset that like, hey, like, yeah. what could this do for the channel? Like, and just in general, like, what? How much fun it could just be for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't feeling and it. Then, and then, <laughs> yeah. Well, and then for the persistence, yeah. though, also you stuck through we, it, motherfucker. We, follow, we followed through. We got yeah. it completed. Yeah, it's it, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. But but I'm, I'm glad the that whole you... time that we've been doing this, it, we've unintentionally been following yeah. the AMP. You know, yeah, yeah. We'll, really we'll look at the channel, and it shows the persistence. I mean, look at all the videos. And, and almost daily uploads. I can't yeah. do all daily, but almost yeah. daily. Yeah, and, and the thing yeah, is, bro. if you look at like the reactions at first, like we know, we know some of our reactions are dry as fuck. Like, yeah. like you know, yeah. what? and it it's because we 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 just started doing this. Yeah, from Mar- and we didn't even do reactions till like three four m- months later. You yeah. know, yeah. And so we've only <laughs> been doing reactions for like five months, maybe. <laughs> And uh, but I feel like we get better and better. Yeah, we're, most we're, every time we do. Yeah, yeah. So. When we actually like just sit there, like instead of some of my favorite parts of the reactions are like talking about it after, mm-hmm. and you know like being silly beforehand, mm-hmm. because when the reactions are actually going, you're like, oh, it, it's it's just us being impressed, right? Yeah, yeah. We're like, oh shit, like that's fucking awesome, like they're fucking killing it, right? And everybody mm-hmm. says that. Mm-hmm. But when we actually get to be ourselves and actually digest like what we saw like at the end, mm-hmm. like it, that's when everything like comes full circle. Yeah, yeah. And that, like honestly, I never thought that we would like do reactions till you uh, brought that reaction side to us. I mean, technically, it's Peter who had the original original idea. If you want to go super OG, yeah. The when butter. he was like, "Hey, we should do butter," and then we had to redo uh, butter. It's but Brooke, no, it was, Brooke, Brooke brought it up to oh, me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, like, but, like, I was, uh, like, when she said that, I'm, like, it clicked in my head. I'm, like, yes. Yeah. And, of course, we had, we first uploaded it, had some issues, had to reshoot it. But we saw <laughs> Te- that initial. Technical difficulties. We, we, sh- we saw that initial bump of, like, ooh, what these could do. And then it was, like, the more and more that, like, we watched K-pop videos and reacted to them. Like, I've grown a, an affection and a love for the music and the appreciation for, like, how hard they work and. You know, it, it's 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 opened me up and like all the other things too. We were actually like what I got for us tonight. One of them isn't a dance video. Yeah. You know, so it, it's it's you know just about like being persistent and consistent. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's also it's it's been very fun and rewarding. Like mm-hmm. learning all these new artists, like listening to music that I would never listen to just normally. Yeah. Like yeah. I was already a fan of Blackpink, but I only knew a couple songs. Yeah. yeah. And like now I know their whole fucking discography. So, <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's crazy. And I mean, I don't fucking travel much, you know. And this is like the closest thing to traveling that I've been able to do. You know, it's like to to appreciate another culture that's on the other way, you know, side of the world. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, and, and like the the biggest thing is that like. You know, we started like like you were mentioning. We didn't start off the relationship that great, but you know, and us sticking with with the whole K-pop thing and just seeing that that's what people kind of wanted to see, or at least this like niche mm-hmm. part of of the internet wanted to see, and we've kind of been doing it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't know what our reactions do for them, right? Like, I'm I, if it does anything, mm-hmm. but all I know is their a- appreciation, maybe back. Because they do say thank you for like reacting to people or, or what, whatever it is that they get, what they've given us. Yeah. You know, I think it, it's just without. It, it's, we, we do it because we enjoy it. Yeah. yeah like yeah. the views are great. But like, I honestly, we, we do this like because it's, it's fun to do. And like, you know, the, the views are great. Yeah. But that's honestly not what we do. Like when we started, like I remember, I remember our big thing on the channel was like, man, we get hit. 200 views this week on the channel that would be wild yeah and now yeah. we're averaging we're averaging like forty-five thousand a week yeah which yeah. is which is crazy because you know it, 
maybe some things like they are you know they are meant to be right like mm-hmm. maybe you know because you said not to get too voodoo earlier but i do remember a conversation that you told me that you had with your mom way back when she was reading the tarot mm. she was like you're gonna make it big and you're gonna do it with your friends and then i'm not gonna repeat the third one because <laughs> yeah. that already happened yeah right no i mean and and you know i know this is still fairly new and and like maybe it gets bigger maybe it doesn't but if this is all it does yeah I, i'm happy yeah you know? I'm, I'm, it's and well past any expectations i had yeah yeah, so, yeah 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 once we got i remember like a year ago when we started it was like okay by march 20 yeah uh 22 we want 100 subscribers yeah you remember yeah <laughs> and i do i, I do want to share something that i was thinking about that's kind of crazy it's like i don't know if y'all remember but before we hit 100 subs like I would tell you, I was like, "Hey, like I have a feeling we're gonna do like really good. Like, enjoy this time because yeah. we'll never be here again." And then remember, yeah. I was telling you that I was having those dreams where, yeah. in my dream, it just said the time is now, yeah. or now is the time, whichever, whichever way, whichever way it was. It was just now is the time. Now yeah. is the time. Yeah. Now no. is the time. I mean, yeah, not to get too crazy, but I mean, just I guess all this just to say that like what this has been is not what we've expected, and yeah, we appreciate yeah, yeah. you guys. Well. It, it really hit me like how real it's getting last week because like when I was talking, I was talking to my mom and she, she watches our stuff. Yeah. She really, she's like, I always click on your videos to give you a view and a like. Oh, that's, that's so nice. Oh, what, what, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, so I was talking to her and I told her about your daughter and everything and I was yeah. like, showed her like, like how much I was like, but like that, when, when I saw what happened last week with with how people actually went to her channel and followed her and liked her stuff and viewed yeah. her stuff. Like, that to me was more rewarding than anything that we've done on the channel. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. like, it doesn't yeah. matter that, like, we have a video that has over 100,000 views. Like, that's a huge milestone. But, like, yeah. that, like, that made it right there worth it to me. Yeah. Like, to see, like, us, like, help with something else and, like, and, like, I, I can just imagine how overwhelmed we are is and excited and all I'm, that kind of stuff. Like, t- I, 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 if I was her age, like when we were making fucking YouTube videos back in the day, like we we have a zombie one that has thirty six thousand views, but it was like, oh, it was all clickbait and it was terrible and people <laughs> shit on shit on us. <laughs> Nobody shit on her. And no, like, oh, we no. like it. Man, you know, it's, it's it's fantastic. Well, it's not just one. It's not just the fact that they went to go see it. It's not the fact that they went to go like it, but it's all the nice comments that they said yeah. and like, like. Seeing the smile on her face is yeah, just like I, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say like yeah, yeah. How, it, it's you crazy. Said that she was like, I don't know how to handle it, but I'm yeah. sure she's on cloud nine. Oh so. yeah, yeah. And and I, you know, I don't want to fucking tear up on this fucking channel, but like, do it. it, it was, cry. It was it's special. Like, did I she, really she, really did she say like, thank you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, man, it was great. It was great. <laughs> I mean, it got real. It's the realest. I told you this is gonna be the realest episode. Yeah. No, I no, it's just, to OJ again. <laughs> no, it's just like as a father, you know. No, yeah, I, I yeah. can imagine. Yeah. Because yeah. we're not we're not dads, but I can I can just imagine the feeling. Like, yeah, because we live in a in a time now where anybody with talent can do this. Not that we're talented, but like your daughter is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like for we for us to have at least. You know, an audience who likes us enough, because that's something that I've also seen change a lot too, right? Because when we first started doing like reactions, they're like, "Oh, uh, that's cool," but react to this, 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 and this. And now it's slowly turned into, "Hey, I've been waiting for your reactions. I yeah. love what you did here. I love the chemistry that you guys have, and so on." And so I feel like those are people who we've actually converted into listening to the podcast, even so we. T- even though we say terrible shit. Yeah. But, you know, like, and the fact that, like, they actually liked us enough. Because if they didn't like us, I don't think they would have gone to her her channel. Yeah. But the fact yeah, that they sure. did and then showed her love and, like, have seen her talent, I'm sure that they've, you know, yeah, they've developed, like, a, 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 a more of a liking to her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, and I will say this. It, it, it's it's fantastic to see and and, you know, it's something that, and in all the descriptions, I'm gonna keep putting her TikTok in there because again, she was our original fan. She yeah. Our original logo and everything. Yeah. Like, you know, but like I think us just continually like throwing out her stuff, putting it in that description. Like, yeah. It's more bound for people to to find her and see yeah. that she like so us like honestly us doing this shit that 
requires zero talent. Yeah. If she's somebody that actually has talent. Yeah. It's awesome to see that people recognize that. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You she never did. know, one, one day she could, you know, if she ever wanted to, maybe be a member of the Amp Theory, you know, yeah. as, as a... As a you know, as an auxiliary, auxiliary dancer, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, like she's not gonna make her talk about the things that we talk about. <laughs> no, no. But you know, I had to but tell like, her she she's designed stuff for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Made a couple little short clips. You know, she made that one clip. Yeah, yeah. The little edit. Talking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's really awesome. Yeah, no, no. It's, it was great. She actually uh, listened to all our first episodes until we started getting a little crazy, and I was like. You don't have to listen anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah. When we, when we started freestyling and stuff, we kind of got a little more raunchy. This, I saw her when my mom was here. She's like, "I was watching until somebody says fuck, and I don't like it." <laughs> so, uh, yes, yeah, ten seconds in. Yeah. Fuck. By the way, I'm gonna point something out here. So, um, by the way, if anybody ever watches any of the videos and the audio gets unsynced, uh, sorry, it happens from time to time. It happened on the last EXO video. Did it? I just figured out what the fuck the problem is. Do you know how the audio cuts and sinks? Uh-huh. He's hit his fucking microphone three times since I've been over here. I'm going to check on the audio. I guarantee you that's every time you hit it, it skips the, the Who, audio. Who, Yeah. What about him? You've hit it three times. Uh, we already so I, think it, I think it messes with the, the cord. Oh, whatever. we already figured it, this shit didn't work out. Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, well, you know, we're getting better. It'd be that I'm way. I'm trying, I'm trying. When we these. get to that... But I also think it's because he like, hit it a couple of times. Like, every time he does it, like, the audio that actually skips, like, scratches. Yeah. And, and that's another thing. We're going to get better. Soon we're going to be a year in this motherfucker. Yeah. And yeah. the product's going to be better. Yeah. Because uh, the mango... <laughs> My mango. <laughs> My mango is uh, for us to get to 10,000 subscribers. And when we get to 10,000 subscribers, we have something really fucking special planned. Yeah. It's going to be an absolute train wreck but it'll be a fun ride it'll be a fun fucking ride i don't know how we're gonna have like the the live stream up and like have the video like put up on the screen as we're reacting to it like so that's that's the thing we'll figure it out though sean like i I told you sean and i were talking and there is a specific piece of hardware probably probably need to get a stream deck this is what it is like a four it's like a four uh four insertion stream deck or whatever and since I built a computer... Four, there's only three of us. Who's going to be the fourth? Mm. Well, no, it's, it'll just be like... <laughs> I know. But, but with the computer that I built for the crypto mining, it'll fucking run smooth like butter. Because smooth of, like butter. <laughs> uh, it'll it'll it. run real smooth because like <laughs> we'll use my, uh, my GP, we'll use the GPU for it. Okay, and, I got you. Because I have like two really badass gaming processors that will make everything just real fluid. Yeah, you want to talk about has your... like a top of the line gaming computer he built and doesn't use it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I built it to fucking mine for Bitcoin. I I, I told him it's like, hey man, you should do some editing. He's like, I don't have a computer sitting on this motherfucking <laughs> amazing ass no, computer. I mean, he needs to have editing software. Yeah, yeah I have like something like really basic. Bitch, you got Bitcoin. Go buy some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can mine all that Bitcoin. Make you some. Mine that Bitcoin into some creative money. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, speaking of, Bitcoin just went up 5.55 percent oh, to wow. $65,146.47. Oh, shit, sure, it's back, back up to 65000 Yeah. I should have gotten that shit when it was low. Bro, I yeah, I was. I should have got into that shit when it was at eight thousand. Yeah, bro, my buddy. I'm not gonna say his name, but he got into Bitcoin. He bought two Bitcoin when it was like real low, like way when it first fucking came out. Yeah, left it alone, forgot about it, and then when that shit like hit like forty five grand, he was like, "Oh shit, I've got two Bitcoin." He paid for his fiance's wedding ring. And paid for their wedding with that Bitcoin money. Wow. Damn. And he still has a Bitcoin and a half. <laughs> Shit. Well, damn. You sniffing your hair. You got some soul glow in the hair? Yeah. Let your some... soul glow. Tyler, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know. I mean, he's technically the fourth auxiliary member of yeah. the podcast. I yeah. didn't see him doing any dances. He, he was, was on the couch. Like, yeah, he was, he was just, just sitting there like watching judgy. like a perv. <laughs> Yeah, he he's all like twerk for me, boys. <laughs> yeah, boy, I get yeah. it. You know, you know, I was at the gym today, uh-huh. and I was just thinking about something. What were you thinking about? Yeah, you know, we usually go to the gym, and you think that the gym is something like that you do to be healthy and stuff like that. But I'm like, this is the most unhealthy group of people that I've ever been around. Like, we're all here because we either want to get smaller or get bigger. 
You know, it's like we're not happy with the way we look. And those people that are all like looking good and stuff like that or in shape, like it's like they need that. You know, they're like, yeah. they're like, like I look good, right? <laughs> like, right? They're never like, you know, it's like that uh, obsession of like always looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, man, like you, you think you go to the gym for health reasons. I'm yeah. like, I feel like it's like the biggest group of unhealthy people hey, around. He was cool, man. You know, we were trying to put holes in our background, yeah. or in my tapestries. <laughs> in my tapestries. <laughs> God, you sound like an 1800s midwife. That's my tapestry. That's my tapestry. Jesus. Oh, yeah. man. No, nah, but you're, you're right about the gym, though. Like, yeah. I go and I see... Uh, I see all walks of life at the gym, mm-hmm. all but walks you know of what? Life, huh? I do. I do like to see uh, old people putting in work, though. Yeah. Uh, there's been a couple old people who uh, are there, and they are jacked. Yeah. Like these, like old dudes, like in their sixties, they still got it. Yeah. I'm like, I want that to be me. Yeah, but ain't it weird? And look, this is what like, you you know how like a lot of the conversation, especially like you know with transgenders, has been about like. <laughs> the bathroom situation right yeah. yeah and i and and i i just want people to know that it's not against transgender people i think some of the some of the argument is but some of the argument is because i go into the gym and it's usually the older males that aren't in shape that just walk around with their dicks out bro i don't know what the fuck bro, that is about it bro it yeah. me out so oh bad. my god the old motherfucker just walking around I've the gym with his dick out bro yeah yeah I'm like, what the fuck yeah and i've it's got like, that kind of confidence but what the fuck bro? yeah i've got a story just shaving bro like <laughs> just shaving just with nothing have, and, you, have you ever seen like, I, don't, I don't know if that happens in the women's locker room but like i feel like it wouldn't be Anywhere near as bad. Nah, right? and that's what we're trying to protect people from because it's imagine. Titties are titties, but an old ball sack. Yeah. The thing is, too, like you see his old ass. Is, uh. Bro, the other day I was I was changing, right? <laughs> I was changing, and I, ha- I had to be naked for about thirty seconds, oh. right? I don't know, is that a long time? Maybe fifteen seconds. I don't know. Well, it but depends. I, I felt like it was just a quick change, right? Yeah, it was forty-five minutes that challenge. Yeah, no, no. So when I, you know, I'm naked and in the transition to to get unnaked, mm-hmm. right? This this older gentleman, bro. Not only is butt naked, but lifts his leg up like <laughs> literally, like not even six feet. This ain't even he ain't like even the, doing like, quarantine like captain, rules. Like in the captain's stance. Yeah, like you know, because they have those little things yeah. you can sit on. Well, he. He, he, yeah, the captain stands, bro, just like oiling his shit up, you know? <laughs> I'm like, bro, this is not appropriate, dog. If I can reach out and touch you. Bro, okay. I'm glad that you brought it up first because like, what happened to me? Like old old men are fucking predators, bro. Hell yeah. And I never want to be Matthews. like I never want to be like some of these old men, and I hope it's not just a thing that comes with age. But uh I don't think I'm gonna be a pervert. This, old. this is fucking pre COVID. So, you know, things were a little bit looser at the gym. Everybody's there. Are you saying you were a little looser? Right? A little bit. Uh, oh. I was going through my, my third hoe phase. <laughs> my third hoe phase. My, 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 my third harvest. I was going season. through yeah. hoe in, my hoe infinity war. Uh, <laughs> Wait, so it's going to be a hoe in game? This, yeah, it's going to be right before I get married. <laughs> nah, but so I'm at the gym, and uh, after my workout, you know, I got that pump. I'm looking good. I'm real big. I'm 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 feeling sexy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I go to the I go to the hot tub. Huh. And this old fucking dude that looks like a turtle, like this old white man. Oh, you like, told me this story. God, it's just I'm he's like... just you know looking at me, and I'm like, okay. So I see this motherfucker looking at me, yeah. and I'm like, I'm like, hey, what's up? He's like, hey, <laughs> how you doing? Hey, you doing? Is it the guy from Screams? No, but he's just like, hey. like the same. He's like he's that guy from Family Guy, the old guy. Yeah. He's like, hey, Chris, get your, <laughs> get your fat ass back over here. I got some popsicles in the cellar. <laughs> but he's, I, oh, that's I noticed, nasty. I noticed this dude looking at me, so I'm like, what's up? How you doing? Yeah. You having a good Trying night? To square yeah. Up, yeah. Man? No, it's, like, it's not. It's not even that. And, and so. <sighs> He was just, he had normal conversation for a little bit and then he just got like Wait, is he kept looking at me. No 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 at, at this at this point oh. at this point <laughs> we're we've got our swim trunks on. <laughs> so I, I go in, I take a shower, and uh I guess he comes in too, right? Oh and shit, he's, right behind he's, you. he's in the, he's in another shower. 
I'm like, that's really fucking weird, but whatever, you know. I was in the hot tub for a while. He was in the hot tub. Shower time. And then uh, I'm fucking getting... I'm like, I, I got ass naked for a second, right? I had to. But this motherfucker comes and sits down like three lockers from me and is just staring at my dick. And at this point, I'm Maybe naked and angry. Impressed. I'm naked and angry. And I was like... Oh, man, that probably turned him out if you were angry. Yeah, I, was like, like, I was like, what are you looking at? Huh. And he was like, what? I was like, what the fuck are you looking at? I was like, you got what I got. Yeah. If you want to look at average white dick, go look in the mirror. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I was like, quit staring. Hell yeah. This ain't no peep show. <laughs> Bro, I wanted to say to confirm, something. Confirm he has average There's- white dick. There was too many white guys. I'd say it's above average, but you know, I was being, I was you being just generous. admitted it. Yeah, you it was just cold. said, said semi average. Like, you just told an old man you and me got the same old <laughs> single dick. <laughs> and to, to be fair, you know, we both had like that fresh out of the shower, like cocktail shrimp dick going on. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you bro. Can't, hold on, first of all, before no, no, we no, yeah, no, like, shower dick is the worst. No, it would just like still like latched onto your ball sack a little bit. Well, and then also now it's getting colder, so it's even worse. No, nah, bro. You gotta get you. Anytime anybody can see your dick, you gotta give it a couple pumps. You know, <laughs> get the juices flowing. I didn't feel like doing a flex in front of them. Yeah, I mean, know. it's like the adobo. You don't want no. That's out. the stretch. No, the flex is like when you when you're like fuck. Is my dick still alive? And you go, like you still you can pop it up. Oh yeah, it's a uh, it's a fun party trick to play with girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you try I mean, to. I remember the first time I did that. Whoa! Have you ever tried I mean, to like? Uh, like Ooh. you use your breath on like a spoon and then like balance it on your dick, like on your nose. I uh, no. You never done that with a spoon. You go like you, you put your breath on the spoon. When, is, you when has your nose. dick ever been out and there be a spoon available? Boy, I used to live by myself and I used to eat cereal all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I finish a bowl of Captain Crunch and then I'm like, <sighs> I've lived by myself, but I never, I've never touched stuff to my dick like that. Mm, I guess you uh, never had a rabbit's foot either. <laughs> <laughs> I got a piece of rabbit fur you used to rub on your dick. Yeah, you know, what's that from? God damn it, super bad. Yeah, super bad. Yeah, man. You, you ain't never. Uh, what's the weirdest thing you've ever touched your dick with? Be honest. <laughs> Let me see. I got to go last. Bit. Okay, you're you're up because I Peter, said I go last. No, I Peter. P- Peter can't think. Wait, the. the, the the weirdest thing that's ever touched my dick? Yeah. I don't know my mom's not watching this deep in. <laughs> and people don't count. <laughs> <laughs> I, shit, I don't know. I, I don't really feel like anything weird is like touch my dick. Hmm. <laughs> I, really, I really can't think of anything like okay. that you would no, be like, that's abnormal. Okay, okay. Let's let's change it up then a little bit. Scott. Uh, like I said, man, like the spoon. I tried to bounce the spoon on my boner, man. Did it work? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you can bounce it on your nose, you can bounce it on your boner. Science. It's like some David Blaine magic shit right there, right? That's street magic. I didn't pull, like, cards out of my ass or anything like that. I did something anybody and everybody could do. Okay, well, I guess, like, the weird... I mean, it's not even weird, because I feel like everybody here has done it. And if you haven't, you're fucking lying. But if fucking, we'll see. I touch a ruler to my dick <laughs> when I was trying to measure that shit. Yeah, yeah, you know that's I've every never, man in America. I've never touched. There's like, two types of men in this world: men who have rulers. measured their dick and men who are lying about it. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. hold on. I'm gonna meet you on the middle. Huh. I've never put a straight ruler to my dick, tape measure. but the tape measure, like the Same one that, that goes around, yeah. I've only measured girth. <laughs> That's a goddamn know. lie. That's a lie. It's just that's the same it's kind of lie as there's two other kind of motherfuckers. Either you pee in the shower or you lie about it. Oh, I yeah. pee in the shower. Yeah, everybody pees in the shower. Uh, there's a lot of people that say, "Oh no, I don't pee in the shower." You're a goddamn liar. That's the most. Now, now, don't shit in the shower. Never. You never, uh, waffle, you never <laughs> waffle stomping. No. <laughs> I've. So we were on the topic of sharding last night. I've I've sharded in the shower, but it's a super easy cleanup. Yeah, no, okay. I've never sharded what? in the shower. I, it's, I, 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 I've sharded many times. But I've never shit in the shower. No, it's before. it's it's a mistake. It was a little mistake, right? But the, never I'm in the shower. Just, it's oh, an easy I, fucking cleanup. I'll get out. Have you ever seen that meme of the dude that's all soaked up and he has to get out and take a shit? Like, I've done that <laughs> before. Like I'm soaked up. I'm like, you gotta take a shit. Like right now? Yeah. It's, like, it's about it's, it's going down. In the shower and I gotta take a shit. All right, before we continue that conversation, what's the strangest thing that's touched your dick? I was going to say I put an onion ring on my dick one time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a, and a, 
that's not even the best part. And then the uh, a girl, a girl ate it off. Oh. Ate it. Bro, that's not even a sexy food, bro. Like, like what? She had onion rings, bro. I was with a girl one time who was like, look, we, we know, had, look, we had that, was my, that was in my age. That was in I, my age of ultra on her face. Okay. 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 No. Okay. So I never did it, but she was like, "How many donuts can you fit on your dick?" I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat them all. The little ones or the big ones? <laughs> the big ones. Right? <laughs> the fucking little mini uh, <laughs> white powder donuts. The little donuts. donuts. <laughs> the little donuts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she was like, "How many can you fit on there?" I was like, "Fuck, I don't know. I've never tried." <laughs> you think? You think it's funny, right? Like we grew up with dicks, right? And like probably have never done. Oh, I mean, I can speak for myself. I grew up with my dick, but yeah. no other dicks. Right, right, right. Donuts. Okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, there's three of us, so more than one dick, all right? So we grew up with our dicks, right? Yeah. And, I mean, this this has been probably the least creative segment of this podcast. It's definitely the, the gayest segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that, like, it's opposite. Like, you know, girls think that, like, it's like, oh, if I would have had a dick, I would have seen how many donuts I could put on there, you know? But yeah. but but with us, it's kind of like, sometimes we're like, if I had a vagina... I wonder how many shit I could put in there. <laughs> like how big, how big of a dragon can I put in there? You it's know? like how elastic is my pussy really? Yeah. <laughs> what but, am I gonna get? What kind of shit? You know, I, I know scientifically a baby could come out of here, but what can I fit in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be trying to like sit on watermelons. I don't know. Watermelon, goddamn! That's a, <laughs> Do you think it's a it's cucumbers? A, I don't trust any of y'all. How weird would it be if like had watermelon? Okay. <laughs> he got, we talking about a baby watermelon or a big watermelon? Nah, we're talking that's about, different than a cucumber. We're talking about straight. if you grow your own watermelon, <laughs> shit, you could go through the whole cycle. <laughs> It's like when you gauge your ears, you know? <laughs> if you woke up with a vagina... Work your way out. <laughs> if you woke up with a vagina tomorrow, would you trust one of us to fuck you? Hell no. Nah. First of all, you guys ain't good enough to fuck me. I don't know. That, I, that I, sounds like a question for Zach. <laughs> you should call him. Yeah. Call Zach Howell. What are we asking? Oh, if he's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I better not be on the podcast. I guess you're on the fucking podcast. You're not wrong. He knows if he gets a call on a Sunday between these hours, he's going live. Ask him which one of us he would let fuck. Ooh, he's probably like, no, 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 fuck you. He's on answer. This motherfucker, he's big licking. He just don't want to answer. He just don't want to answer gay questions. Damn. Yeah, I was going to call him this Chuck. <coughs> That's a good one. If I woke up tomorrow with a vagina, mm-hmm. I wouldn't let either of you fuck me. But I'd let Jonathan give me one of his uh, earth-shattering orgasms. <laughs> Bro, I heard girls have the best orgasms. <laughs> oh, you don't like Bro, scientific? Jealous. Yeah, like they, Bro, they like, can have multiple orga- orgasms yeah, and they last yeah, longer. As, as, as yeah. you get over it, you know, it's, it's not as easy to have like multiple times. Like A lot of times I'm just like, Ooh, I'm done now. Yeah, like, sure. When I'm younger, yeah, but women, they can just... They're like, they're like a diesel engine. Yeah, yeah. They can yeah. just keep going and going. And men are like bottle Cummins? rockets. Coming yeah. diesel engine. Yeah. <laughs> men, men are like right. bottle rockets. Yeah. And our wow. reload time is not what it used to be. It's kind of like, yeah. you know, it's kind of like uh, men fighting. Like, you know, we're more explosive. Yeah. You know, they're more. Short range, like explosivity. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That, that, that football. And, yeah, 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 quick. Yeah, like. With a lot of breaks. Why, like, like, you know, like. Yeah. Did you see the the fights yesterday? Fucking Rose and uh, Wei Lee. Uh, they were going at it the great. whole time. The fight between Gaethje and Michael Chandler that was, was crazy, s- ridiculous. And then and then I, I watched part of the main event. Uh, I'm glad Kobe Covington lost. And I'm like Kobe Covington. And then did you see Canelo knock out that plant dude? Yeah, yeah, Ooh, that yeah. was nice. Yeah, that was Sexy. crazy. That was crazy. But I mean, it just goes back to like you know what we were saying. Men were. Bah! And then it's like, you know, with the whole Gaethje fight, you know, that first fucking round was crazy. Yeah, that after the whole fight was crazy. Yeah. yeah. That was a crazy ass fight. I didn't see it. You know, he seems like really like normal, motivational guy, but uh, uh, Chandler. Yeah. But he's a fucking psycho, bro. Yeah. He's like, he's like a little pit bull. Yeah, him, yeah. He's, he's terrifying. After, like, yeah. I would not want to fight him ever. Like, yeah. Gaethje is just as fucking terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like a perfect little matchup. That was a like, crazy fight. That was a crazy fight. Man. No, but it was a, a good night of fights for sure. Mm-hmm. And then just to wake up today and get the worst fucking ass whooping. 
It's been a, it was a hard oh, day for us Dallas Cowboys. Oh, oh, okay. There he is. Hey. Hey. What's up? You're on the podcast. Are you in a place where you can talk freely? Um, not really right now. Perfect. Where are you, where are you? <laughs> uh, I'm at Torchy's closing out my tab. All right. I just got a quick question for you. Yeah, I'm afraid of what this <clears throat> is going to be now. If you woke up tomorrow morning with a vagina, would you let me fuck you? No. <laughs> Wait, uh, would, wait, you, would you let me fuck you? Oh, yeah, yeah. What about Jonathan? Yeah, I would rather do myself than let you fuck me. You wouldn't let me eat that pussy, Zach? <laughs> you no. like, you like. <laughs> hey, bro, what, what about the Latin lover? It's like, I would be too busy having a mental breakdown. <laughs> oh, the oh. fact that you won't go from the vagina. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll give, give you that. If, but after your mental breakdown. Yeah. If I woke up with a vagina tomorrow and was just horny, how mad would you be if I were trying to throw my man pussy on you? My man pussy. You got nice man pussy. Sit there and fist fight you. You'd fist me? He'd fist me. Oh, shit. Wow. Fist. Fist. We, got that, we got that on the podcast. I can edit to where he just says fist. Hey. Uh, he punch you in the face. In my... Hey, if... if, if, if Vaginal face? <laughs> My vaginal face? <laughs> if Scott uh, w- woke up with a vagina and started playing with himself in front of you, would you get hard? Ooh, good question. No. What would it take? I'd probably sc- run out the room screaming. <laughs> I locked you in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Here's the hypothetical. Because I already know that she won't have man-to-man sex with me to save the world. Terrible friend. Selfish. Super selfish. If it came down to rescuing everybody in the world and saving everybody from disaster, and I happen to have a vagina, would you have uh, intercourse with me? No. I'll shave my beard. I don't care. The answer is no. Who's your, who you even wax his asshole for? Who's you? your Who's your celebrity crush? Kate Beckinsale. I ain't gonna say because you're gonna try to throw some hypothetical. Oh, it's Haley. It's Haley Atwell, right? <laughs> Peggy Carter. All right, you can wear the captain. You can wear the Captain America suit, and I'll wear the uh, the Agent Carter <laughs> wig. <laughs> and I'll wear. I'll There's wear. I'll wear. <clears throat> I'll wear. He hasn't hung up yet. I'll wear fake rubbery titties. See, why do you always have to try to pull hypotheticals on me? All right, all right, wait. What if he? <laughs> Hey, you what if take the hard line? Well, okay. What if it was Freaky Friday, right? And Ooh. you knew you it was that actress, but you knew it was Scott on the inside of that actress. Oh, here, yeah, that's a good one. What if I inhabited Haley Atwell's body? So you technically have sex with her body, but it's still me. But his spirit is inside of her. My spirit is the one that's telling you to go deeper. And it's the only way you'll be able to fuck her ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you do it? No. <laughs> He'd fucking do it! <laughs> I would take no, your... Wouldn't. You wouldn't have sex with a real woman's body if my soul were inside of it? What if it was uh, to set me free? Yeah, like you gotta rub the genie. Yeah, that, that doesn't work that way. It would just cause more psychological damage. <laughs> and he, he would be he would materialize out of your jizz and like become a human again. Yeah. It's only if you complete inside of her. Then you she wouldn't gives, say she gives birth to him. Oh and shit! Then, then you can really be my dad, Zach. You wouldn't. No. You wouldn't save Scott. I would do it for you. Not in this hypothetical. I fucking All right, and what, pussy up, Zach. <laughs> and what hypothetical would it have to be? Who would he have to be? Nobody. I don't, know. I don't sit here and think of hypotheticals day in and day out. <laughs> You're not fun. Hang up on him. You're not fun. Love you. Bye. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> God, man, that, that that's weird. quite possibly the straightest man I've ever known. Bro, okay, so there's, uh, I think I've told y'all before, there's a scale, right, uh-huh. that they have mm-hmm. from like one to whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And on this scale, like it determines like how, how gay you are, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. If you, you know, we're heterosexual males, so we're not on the full gay spectrum. Yeah, yeah. But we can, but we can acknowledge that like certain men are good looking. You're like, man, like he pulls a lot of pussy. Like I wish, 
our him. Yeah, well, it's, it's, a, it's a real test, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real test, right? It's yeah. like the... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of like the Benzie scale or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I took that yeah. test. <clears throat> yeah, I would probably say that we, we fall in that like... Three, I'm a little gay. That, that two to three range, right? Yeah. Zach is like a full... Zach is 100 and... Fifty percent, like straight, like yeah. done, like oh, yeah. done, believe another yeah. man in his hands. He won't even joke. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah I had a, I had a, a, a gay guy I used to work with. He told me about the test. He asked me to take it. The boy's a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, after that twerking I saw earlier, yeah. look like yeah. you had some you know experience. Hey, man. I, saw, I saw a different side of you tonight, bro. You almost saw the inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, you know, with the twerking and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh. Yeah. But yeah, man, you know, there's, some, there's, a, there's a dancer in you. <laughs> yeah, we get you on stage at Chippendales yet, <laughs> bro. You know what? When we start the, when my wife leaves me, and we have to start the Amp Theory Strip Club. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! We, oh my we, god! We're either we're gonna go for broke. We're either gonna make money or go broke. We're gonna have all kinds of merchandise. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, all kinds of clothing, lube. Businesses, uh, yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna have Anthony Lube, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll be down for that. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be called uh, be a picture of all three of our faces like this, <laughs> like Pet Boys. Like Pet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll call it uh, we'll call it Slime. Oh, <laughs> Amp Goo. I was thinking Amp Goo too. Amp Goo. Let's just keep it three and three. Amp Goo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, or you could just be like Accountability Goo. Ah, uh, persistence goo. Oh, mindset goo. Yeah. Now nah, mindset goo is like when we. Well, that's gonna be our. Uh, no, that's gonna be our uh, one of those. Uh, you know how those aromas where you like have to meditate. <laughs> I'm glad you thought that. Oh, mindset goo. That was like, oh, that's our version of saying post nut clarity. <laughs> Whew, you know what? Post nut clarity has saved my life. It saved me many times. <laughs> post nut like waiting. To hear if you're gonna be able to fuck, and then you're like, "Fuck this, I'm gonna rub one out," mm-hmm. and then you get that text like, "Yeah, come over," and you're like, "I'm oh, good. I don't want to anymore." Yeah, <laughs> like I, I thought I liked you. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> that's not the case. Yeah, uh, that's. I mean, post on clarity is a very real thing, and it's a very important thing because. You, you could you could think that you have feelings for somebody, you could think somebody's really really hot or whatever the fuck, but. If you if you get that one out beforehand, that'll tell you. Because if you still want to do it, then go ahead. Oh, even if you still want to talk to him. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And if there's doubt, it's like, oh, no, I caught myself. That, that could have been bad. Yeah. You know. Can I tell? Can I tell you actually that posting that clarity is the reason why I knew my wife was the one. Oh. oh. Yeah. Sarah, no. is this news to her? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I, I think I've told her, but like for the first time. God, I feel like such a hoe saying this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, you're dating or you're about to date or, you, you know, stuff. You can get yeah. a little freaky. And then, and then at, at the end, when, we, when I was done, for the first time, I was just like, hey, you want to watch something? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go. <laughs> it's like for the first time, I was oh, like, let's. Yeah. And then I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. Hey, kick her out. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I was like, damn, you know. It's actually very romantic. It is very romantic. Yeah, and I was like, damn, I actually like being around this girl. I used to be really romantic. I told, there was one girl that I was like, hey, if you want to come over, this is what we're going to do. Don't talk to me. This is what's going to happen. In the second Whoa, you're talking about me being leave, assertive. You leave. I've never, I've like, never said that to a And she was like, cool. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, you got to know your audience. <laughs> yeah, know your audience. <laughs> but that type of shit, for real, I, would, I got like a message that said like, fuck tonight. Question mark and I said, "Yeah, come through. Don't talk. We fuck. When we're done, you leave." And she was like, "Okay, daddy." Oh, is this, is this uh, your winter soldier phase? Or? This was a uh, this was my age of hoe phase. Okay, age of hoe phase. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that with the old wifey. I'm come back with a fucking black guy. <laughs> oh, this shit don't work. Hand a black guy next week. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna text her. I'm going to come in and go say, shit, be ready. Don't, don't say nothing back to me. Don't, don't talk, talk to me. Don't talk to me. She's like, the fuck you say to me? Yeah, she's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> she's about to be eight months pregnant, so she's having none of it. <laughs> Putting up with this much of your shit. Man. Yeah, I'm yeah. Assuming. Oh, yeah. You yeah. ain't doing that shit where you're like, huh? Oh. What? No, I've been, 
Yeah. Yesterday I had to describe to her how I, um, I was going to kick her out of the house. Oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, I was just, you know, I like fucking with her because she gets upset at me and it's like, I just like, oh, let's see how far I can take this. Mm-hmm. And so I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, she was upset at me because, you know, we have kids. We were at my brother-in-law's house and, you know, it was getting late. The fights were pretty late. Mm-hmm. And she was all like, yeah, like, we need to go home. And I was like, just kind of like. <laughs> Did you see the TV, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she was under the impression after the Canelo fight that it was all done. But I was like, but there's one more fight, and it's the one we've all been waiting for. And so she's like, really? Like, you know, and I'm like, yeah, but, you know, it's, I was like, this would be worth it. <laughs> the fight better be worth it. And it was. Yeah. And so, yeah, she was upset, and we were driving home, and she was like, talking, talking a little shit. And I was like, yeah. I was like, well, that's why I'm going to kick you out. Because <laughs> at that point, she's already mad. So I was like, all right, well, she can't get madder. And she's eight months pregnant. Yeah, she can only be mad to a certain point. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, well, at this point, like, I'll just try to be, see, see what I have to do. Like, I try to make it so silly and ridiculous yeah, that it's like, you know, at first, she's like, what? You know, so I'm like. I was like, you know what? That's what I'm going to kick your ass out. And then she's all like, oh, yeah? I was like, yeah. And she's like, shit, I'm taking the kids. I was like, nah, these are my kids. <laughs> and so, like, you know, she gets a little crunk, right, at first, because it's kind of like. a little crunk. Yeah, yeah. That's then the she's, word I've heard in a while. God, yeah, my bad. But, but she's bringing she, it back. Yeah, yeah, you know. Back. Yeah. And so she's all like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah. I was like, shit, drop you off right here. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, it'd be the last thing you do, you know, blah, 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 you know, like, I'm talking about this shit. And I was like, yeah, I'll take the kids. And she's all like, yeah, yeah, well, I'll take you to court. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to stab you with some heroin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, I was like, that way, that way I could take the kids away from you. And then that's when she kind of like started noticing I was just like fucking with her. Yeah. And so I was like, yeah, and I'll get you addicted. <laughs> And it'll, I'll get you ruin, and it'll ruin your life. <laughs> like, I'll get you on her. She's addicted to her. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm gonna be your dealer. The first one's free. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. But by the time we got home, she was, she was cool. Again. She was cool. Cause Smacked I'm you around a little bit, probably. Yeah, you know. You ever end up kicking you out? Yeah. You ever um, wake up in the middle of the night and she's just like staring at you? Like, she says she watches me when I sleep. I'm, I'm kind of scared. scared. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker yeah. tonight. Yeah, kind of. Tonight. I'm telling you, bro. Yes. I think I think the reason why she watches so much of that true crime shit, she's plotting against. You. I think she's just. Is it normal for them to take notes while they're watching that? Do y'all know anybody that else that does that? Yeah, it's a class, isn't it? Uh, not the notes part. <laughs> uh, I think my life's in danger, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know we have it on film now, so. If you do go missing, we got a suspect. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm not alleging anything, sir. Yeah. This is all Peter's Now, talking. if I really do go missing, probably wasn't her, but <laughs> <laughs> like, on the real side. Yeah. Um, but maybe it was. Uh, no. No, nah, but yeah, so uh, I, there was almost a fight after the fight, you know, which would have been me and my wife. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Some overtime fighting. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. and uh, But everything turned out okay because yeah. we got an extra hour of sleep. Oh, Bro, yeah, that shit fucked me up all day today. I was like, I kept, I forgot, I, it took me a while to set my clock over there on mm. my, oh, yeah, my yeah. microwave. Yeah. And like the cowboy game was on, or like the cowboys were about to start, but I thought they were because it was noon on my thing, it was only 11. And I'm like, screaming, like, shit, we got to the game on. I'm like, yeah. oh, fucking pregame just started. I'm like, oh, it's fucking 11. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but it, man, it felt good. Even though I woke up at fucking 6 a.m. in the morning. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Technically, you woke up at 7. I know, but yeah. yeah. I went to Raising Cane's at 10 a.m. when they opened. So uh, they're supposed to be 11 hungry. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, um, I I totally forgot and I put on the game because, you know, we had my, my son's uh, birthday dinner with my wife's family hmm. or lunch. And uh, I fucking turn on the game, dude, just to, when they scored 13 points on us. Ain't that a motherfucking bitch? Man. Yes. yes, we were Super Bowl bound. <clears throat> now, we are right though. I hope so. We we needed a game to humble us. So yeah, man. This whole time we've been looking at this screen, and it's triggering me and giving me flashbacks for the what we just did. Like I never want to hear the song again. No, I'm kidding. I, I do want to hear it. I just no, don't want to no. see the dance again. No, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be my. I'm gonna hear it all fucking night when I edit it tonight too. That's so much shit. That's gonna be fucking insane. I feel like to be a dancer. You gotta weigh like what, like maybe like one fifty the most. At the most, bro. That shit was. I'm. I'm too. 
I'm too heavy to be doing some of the dance that we yeah, do. No, and and you don't definitely need more than like half an hour to try to learn to dance too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technically, I, I I tried, but then I kind of flubbed when it came in, so I kind of kind of. Improvise. I think I'm the only one that stayed true to the first ten oh, seconds. It's, it's, it'll be lit when it's up. Of course, you guys have already seen it, but yeah, it's either you guys haven't. It. I haven't either, so we'll see. How it's it goes. either gonna be really great for us, or we're gonna end up on one of these fucking cringe talks, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you I know gonna, what? I was gonna say, by the way, I also was gonna upload it to our TikTok. Oh, uh, so we might be on cringe talk. Upload it on TikTok, <laughs> Instagram, everything. Yeah. So you know, maybe maybe Fuck getting it. on Chris Talk ain't the worst thing in the world because nah, it's good know. good good viewership. And yeah, I will say it's the most. So I know that we've done a lot of things for for views. We've said a lot of things for views. Uh-huh. It's the first time I've ever felt like I was a hoe for the views. <laughs> oh yeah, we was hoeing for sure. <laughs> yeah, extra hoeing. God, like, yeah. I feel it in my body. My core needs a little bit more uh, more work. Now that we're doing these full body shots, man. Yeah, your boys yeah. gonna have to get into shape. At least two out of the three of us got to be in shape at all times. Maybe two out of the three. I said at least two of the three of us have to be in shape at all times. Oh, well, so that means so. that means that means like one person gets a vacation every now and then. Y'all are up. <laughs> so what? You guys down doing some steroids or what? Hey, yeah, no. come on, dude. I'm to make my day smaller. No, no, it, it doesn't. Your balls smaller. Your dick will look bigger. Yeah. <laughs> You could you could you could are afford you, to lose a, a, a few ball? pounds. <laughs> all ball, yeah. You all ball, okay. <laughs> all ball, <laughs> shaft. He got no shaft. No, bro. <laughs> Steroids. Oh no, you, you all shaft. No testicles, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, bro. Yeah, we should we should do steroids. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. What's the worst thing can happen? Let's go, Johnny. We get, we get big, have heart attacks. <laughs> Shit. I don't like needles in my ass though. You don't have to look. You want to inject my ass with it? I'll do, I'll I'll do, do it whatever you, you got to do, buddy, to help you to achieve your Samoa dreams. It makes you taller, too. Word. I, you know, I've been seeing those uh, online the dudes that be getting them shin implants. <laughs> like, you know what? That doesn't look too bad. <laughs> it just reminds me of Kyle on South Park when he went to play basketball. Oh, yeah. He yeah. got the Negroplasty. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And then his dad, Gerald, got the dolphin plastic. Oh, yeah. no. It was funny because what this doctor did was he put uh, Mr. Garrison's balls in Kyle's knees to help him like, grow. Mm-hmm. And, and then they uh, exploded, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Garrison's like, my balls! <laughs> oh, Jesus. He, he turned into a woman at the end, right? For uh, a while, yeah. And then he, he turned was, back into a man, and then he turned into Donald Trump. Which mm-hmm. I think was like one of the most genius things they could have done. Oh, yeah. Man, I wish we were that funny. We are. We are? Yeah. Are you it sure? takes time. I don't know about that. I mean, they, they've been doing South Park and shit for like 25, 26 years. And we've only been doing it for eight months, so. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You yeah, know not, not every South Park episode is a banger. Yeah. 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 But every Amp Theory episode is. Boom. Oops. <laughs> wow. Hot take. Hot take. Well, fellas, we're uh, an hour plus in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I and, guess we'll uh, call it in. We've done a lot, and I'm uh, a little tired. Yeah. Of yeah. Our dance. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, if you guys want to end it. Yeah, fuck right. it. Let's do it. End it. Goodbye. That's not how it works. Anyways, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for tuning so in. So much. Uh, yeah. Again, also, thank you last week for everything for Peter's daughter. That was amazing. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, so, so obviously, cool. Obviously, thank you so much for the continued support. Go ahead and drop a like on the video. If you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to, though. Um, and, and, and stay tuned for our other videos. Uh, we post every every most almost every day of the week. Yeah. In our podcast and we promise one of these videos, we won't talk about poop or penises. We didn't talk about shit this we time. We didn't talk about shit. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Shit yeah. In, the, in, the, in the tub. Uh, sure. Sorry. And we talked about piss. Peanut in the tub. Yeah. yeah. Ah. I'm touching our dicks on stuff. Yeah. I'm so ah. Sorry. Maybe next week. We're on still episode we never, Our minds never grew out of middle school. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you come here for. Yeah. <laughs> but so, maybe awesome. maybe maybe better luck next week on episode thirty three. There'll be no dick shits or what what are the penises? Yeah. Stay tuned because when we do Ooh, we could turn that into a uh, a drinking game. <laughs> if we I'll talk about drunk if we talk about episode. shit, piss, penises. 
right? Yeah. Vaginas are open season. <laughs> right? oh, yeah, because we don't bring up Literally. vagina every yeah. time. P- pussy's in season right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> every time we mention one of those three things, we have to like drink like... Like egg- take a shot? Eggnog. <laughs> That's fuck. If you chug eggnog, nah, bro. If you chug some Scott eggnog, doesn't drink, so we got to get his ass drunk. If you chug some Man, eggnog, that's a good goal to have on the podcast one time to get Scott drunk on the podcast. Fuck, it and then drunk be... for the reactions. That uh, would be great. You know how much, bro. you know what kind of footage we would get for that shit. You guys want that to happen? Drunk reactions? I don't think anybody's done that. Drunk reactions, bro. We could do like reactions, like every time. Like, okay, so we'll specify, like, okay, every time. This someone does this, this, or this. I just bought a mini. We just came up with our new our theme for next week. We drink drunk reactions. Look, how would you like to drink? Would you like beer where it takes a little bit longer? You gotta drink a little bit more, or just take a couple, shots? or just take a few shots? Oh, oh no! (laughs) How do y'all do it? I mean, Jonathan lives here. Yeah, I'm not a pussy. I know how to get drunk. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to get drunk. I could honestly have Bro, a you beer. Take, like, I, the fact that we don't drink that much, you take like three shots, we'll probably feel pretty good. Do you, do you like lemonade? Yeah, I like lemonade. I'm going to get some Deep Eddie's lemon vodka. It tastes just like lemonade. We'll take a couple shots and get you fucked up. You know what? And I'll ask my wife for a special favor to come pick us up. I'm going to take you home. <laughs> that? Yeah, maybe. We'll talk about it. <laughs> We're doing Drug Reactions next. Drug Reactions next week, guys. Hey. We love you. That's it for episode 32. See you next week. Oh, let's see you.